Matt and Melly. This is Casey and 25 and 52, a day late. So I woke up this morning and was running late and then realized that I had forgot to make a video yesterday and my nail polish is chipping and I have a lot of dishes to do and a lot of laundry to do and a lot of reading to do and a lot of things to do. And then I was really stressed. If I'm honest, this day started in a really bad place. But then I got to school and I practiced music for chapel. And let me tell you, there's nothing like two hours of singing followed by a worship service to get my brain back in a more reasonable, happy place. So there was one thread that ran through um, kind of my nervousness and my stress this morning, the worship service that I went to today and the class that I was in today. And all of it was about really that there is this thread that you're holding on to that is, you know, your, your soul and your calling and the, your truth, your stuff. And my stress lately has been uh, large and various and largely about figuring out who I am in this context. Um, I got very used to Casey in undergrad and Casey um, who works at the abortion clinic. Like I got really used to being that person and I'm trying to figure out who exactly Casey the seminarian is. And what I realized during that service was that if I stay in line with my truth, if I follow my soul, if I follow my truth, and try to ignore the bits of my ego that say that I have to worry about living up to somebody else's standard, I'll be okay. And there was a story that was shared, and if anybody from school watches this, they're going to know that I just totally butchered this story, but anyway. Um, there's a rabbi whose name that I've thoroughly forgotten, and he says something to the effect of, when I die, God won't ask me why I wasn't more like Moses. He'll ask me why I wasn't more like me. So yeah, um, that was important for me to hear today. And then, in my class on Howard Thurman, I got a very similar message about it being so important for you to live your life in accordance with your truth and about our voices being important. I've never, eh, never is not quite true. I've rarely had professors tell me that my insight is important and some of it I think is grad school, but a lot of it is this place in particular and this work in particular. and. It was so important for me to hear today the poem about the thread, um, the story about the rabbi, the sermon that Meg Riley gave, and the to, to think about Howard Thurman and even about my professor who is this amazing man who is now the minister at the church that Howard Thurman founded and him saying, you know, I don't try to fill Howard Thurman's shoes. I, I fill my shoes. I have my own shoes. So I'm going to continue trying to figure out how to fill my shoes. That's it. I love you.